As you can see, the only thing wrong with Tados' head is the fact that he doesn't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Fraser, Global Educator for the Bearded Chap. I'm here with our videographer, Tados. I'm gonna do a little low skin taper fade, um, heaps of texture. Um, I'm gonna come through I want lots of texture, but I'm actually going to use the traditional pomade just to get a natural um, shine throughout um, the top here, but lots of texture, a nice loose bed head look, okay? And um, with a nice clean taper just to sharpen it up a little bit. I'm going to start off with my berets, come through, I'm going to angle my line, I'm actually just going to remove all the bulk from this sideburn. This is the base of my, my taper. Taper the neck. Now you'll notice when I do this, I'm actually going to do a soft arch. And I'll come back and explain why I've done that at the end. Love working with real dark, thick hair, especially when the skin's nice and nice and light. Just shows so much definition in your work. So you can see there, nice, clean arch, um, semi-circle line. And the reason I'm doing that is at the end when I come through and place my lines and this is all faded out nicely, by arching it off, you actually extend your neckline um, it just gives a lot more shape to the hair rather than coming through with a nice clean straight line. So it's just a different way of doing a taper, but a lot heavier way of tapering. I'm using my one and a half guard with my adjustment lever closed. Now I want to create a little guideline, a little blend line that I'm going to use um, for clipper over comb because I actually want to leave some of this weight and this texture I'm going to follow the shape of my fade line. I'm going to open up my one, start to soften my taper out, closing my one, opening my adjustment lever, 0.5. You'll see that fade line start to softly disappear. Zero. So just following all my same techniques, um, starting from my one and a half clip, my one open, one closed opening my adjustment lever to a 0.5 and then just working out that fade line with a zero and I have zero gap these clippers. So this is where you flick the one off like I did and then I can't find it. You see where it went bro? Yeah. Oh, just blended in. So you see right here too, a little bit of dry skin underneath there. He's got quite thick hair and obviously with the humidity here in Brisbane, Australia that you know, you're going to get a little bit of dry skin through there. So that's something that after my cut, that beard oil and the, the, the qualities of the product in that, it's actually going to help reduce that. So being consistent with applying it to your face, you know, your head and through your, your beard or even your stubble is going to reduce that after a few days, which is really cool. So working the comb nice and tight to the scalp and then just slowly rotating it out, making sure that I'm moving my clippers at the same time. So I'm just softening, I've clipper over comb and I'm still getting a little bit of a weight line. I'm just coming through with a one, so we call this fine tuning. So when fine tuning a lot, I like to use my corners and my heel and my toe of my clipper. I just taper my clipper away from the head and use the toe of my blade. And you see there was a little bit of a soft weight line through here. I'm just softly removing that. Yeah. So now just going through, sharpening up my lines. It really makes that taper pop. I like to clean the lines up, but I don't want to cut in, I want to keep it nice and natural. This is what it's all about. Show you how it feels to win. I was made for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was made for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So as you can see, looking from behind, a lot, a lot more of a longer head, um, but really nice and tight square jawline. So this shape would be a lot more square down the bottom and then coming up overling on the top. So to help with that oval shape, I'm keeping it a little bit graduated to the sides, want a little bit of weight and texture. Um, but as you can see, the only thing wrong with Hados's head is the fact that he doesn't have to. <laughs> yeah. It's not my dad though. My dad is very much like you, couldn't grow a beard at all. I mean, I don't grow the thickest of beards, but I'm, I, yeah, I, I do feel lucky that I can grow. A beard, but my got a pretty big beard. I mean, my, my beard didn't come into. I'm not even kidding though. Like at the age of 21, when I opened my business, I only had a bit of hair on my chin and my moustache. Yeah. I had nothing through here, so it wasn't until about 23, 24 that I actually started to. How do you make it grow? Unfortunately, <laughs> genetics is a huge thing with that, but um, yeah, I, I, I something that I did a lot was I constantly shaved, clean shaved, and I, I found that kind of sped the process up. I don't know if it scientifically actually did, but it felt like it did. And I'm just going in, just point cutting, just adding a bit of texture. I don't want to take much length off here, but definitely want to add some texture to add, add to the cut and then come through. And normally, I mean, for textured cuts, you're going to come through and use the clay, but I definitely feel like um, I want to use a little bit of the traditional pomade just to get a little bit of a natural shine. Um, but, you know, it's a great product because you can um, achieve many different styles with it. The matte clay would normally be what a barber or someone or I would normally go to for this kind of style, but I definitely feel that I want to try try the traditional pomade just to get that tiny bit of a natural shine, but it's not going to be slick, it's not going to, you know, overpower your hair, it will still let it do its natural thing. But I think having a natural shine, it'll sort of encourage your hair to curl and add a bit more texture to it. Um, you can see I'm just coming through on both sides, side sectioning, a little bit of an angle there, so doing about a 45 degree angle on that section, and I'm just coming through and just very messily, just chopping straight down, so using my scissors on a 90 degree and just point cutting. So just cutting nice and deep into there, so it's not reducing length, just adding a heap of texture, so it's a really cool way of adding texture rather than just running your thinners through the hair. Um, you actually got some control over it. You can see it already starts to add a heap of texture to his hair. Is it much of a print? Uh, yeah, You don't want it too much shorter though, right? No, no, I like that. Yeah. So this is my edge up. I'm going to finish. Nice clean finish to a cut. Just lathering up, a little bit of cream. I'm just going to finish my edges with the razor. Alright, so I finished my cut, little low skin taper fade. Um, I wanted to add heaps of texture on the top, but this would traditionally would be finishing with the Australian matte clay, but I want to add a little bit of a natural shine, um, and that's why I'm going to turn to the traditional pomade by Theatre Chap. Um, great smell for one, so uh, cinnamon and vanilla scent, um, but it's a medium to stronghold, also depending on how much you use. Um, but it's got that natural sheen to it, and that's why I want to use this product. So what I'm going to do, back of my nail, I'm going to come through, scrape a bit of product off, 
Once again, it's very strong. You don't need a lot of product. You can use about a 10 cent piece on my hand. So 10 cent piece, I'm gonna come through and emulsify it through. And then the main part of this is I wanna get this to the roots. So I'm gonna start coming backwards and work my way to the front. Really scrunch it in, working in. You can already see it's got that natural sort of glimmer to it, that natural shine. That's what I want, but I still want to maintain my texture, my sort of messy bed head. Nice loose look, not heavily styled, and I'm not going to apply any more product. That can be restyled throughout the day, um, but it will hold in shape. And then being oil based, yes, is one thing, but water sober, it's going to wash out with water. So um, also, you know. Definitely my most favorite thing about that mud is that you got this oil base with a natural old school sheen to it, but then it's gonna wash straight out. Cool.